Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Sad Forever. My name is Billy from Piano Pies, let's get stuck straight in. So the song starts off with a introduction on the piano. The left hand is going to hold and well sustain a bunch of notes. The first note is a B note. At the same time, the right hand has notes of F sharp, B, F sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, B. And when we play that in one go, we get We then repeat everything in the right hand, but the left hand holds a G sharp and a D sharp. The right hand then plays the same thing whilst the left hand plays E and B. And finally, the left hand will go to an F sharp and a C sharp. The right hand does change this time. So we have F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, B, A sharp, F, A sharp, B. And that is what will get you through not only the introduction, but it will get you through the first verse. You just repeat it two more times. So later on in the song, there is a chorus. And the chorus is when the right hand starts playing block chords, as in just lots of notes together. And we have F, F sharp. We have B and D sharp, so that is a B flat major chord. We're going to play that two times in a row whilst the left hand plays B notes. We then drop both Bs to A sharps. Um, the next part of the song, we hold a G sharp whilst playing a G sharp minor in the right hand. G sharp, B and D sharp. And that's where we change the pattern. So we take this chord and we go one, two, and three, and four, and. So you can see I'm playing higher notes and then this low G note. And then at the end, I've got this B and C sharp that play together. We then have a C sharp in the left hand, followed by right hand G, C, G sharp, C sharp, and E, which is a C sharp minor chord. Have this descending melody. D sharp, G sharp, C sharp and G. Followed by an F in the left hand, sorry an F sharp in the left hand and we have F sharp, A sharp, C sharp with an E at the top. And a nice little melody of D sharp, E and F sharp. So the first part of this chorus goes like this. Now there is one more part to this chorus which is almost the same at points. We actually start off the same way. Then for the G sharp minor, we're gonna have a B, D sharp and the G sharp at top. Followed by a C diminished chord. It sounds a bit naff by itself, but in the song it actually works quite well. C, E flat, it, G flat with the C in the bass. Then a C sharp minor that we hold, followed by the F sharp major. And at that point, we start getting repetition. So it goes back to a verse, which we're gonna play exactly the same. We then get a chorus, which thankfully is the same thing, but instead of holding the chords at the end, we're just gonna play on every beat. Now it's worth mentioning that I've wrote the sheet music out for this and if you're interested in getting all of that with all the parts wrought out properly then links in the description for the Patreon page. It's just a couple of dollars and you can get it all wrought out professionally there. So it saves you from you know writing out and making a mistake potentially. There is then a bridge section and then an outro. The bridge section is very similar to the chorus. We have the B major chord and this part we've seen before. We then have the G sharp minor chord but all I'm doing there is just changing the voicing in the right hand, which is B, D sharp, and G sharp. Then the F sharp after that. We then go to the G sharp with an E in the bass. Very jazzy chord. 
We then get a D sharp in the bass, along with D sharp, F sharp, and B in the right hand. And finally, because as if we need more chords, we have the C sharp minor to the F sharp major, and that'll get you through the bridge section. We then get an outro, which is just sustain chords that we see in the verse, which is the B natural major, B flat, followed by the G sharp minor, then a note of G, and then that C diminished. And then we get the C sharp minor, there's an E note, the F sharp chord, followed by a B major chord to end the song. Now I've gone over that um, quite quickly there, obviously you can rewind and look at the different parts, but I recommend that you get the sheet music for this if you're able to read music because it'll really help you out. Uh, so yeah, links in the description for that. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. I'll see you in the next video.